Yesterday we did a little demo in the aim of creating the most simplistic repair possible in a realistic environment. We have a waste fitting which would be your plug point for your bath or your basin the shower and then underneath that you have your concealed waste line where you don't want to be chopping around that to carry out the repair we literally use the oxygen to push the epoxy from the oxy tube where we have the reservoir of epoxy force it through the trap all the way through the line and out the other side just create a thin one or two millimeter layer all the way through to the gully to catch the epoxy and continue pushing air through the system until the epoxy is dry enough not to move and then uh, it cannot collapse in the line blocking the line use this transparent tube here just to demonstrate for uh, to give a visual effect you have not sandblasted this line either it's purely for demonstration on how the epoxy can coat the line generally a plumber will never branch off on a waistline you'll always have many branches coming in so you would have your bath basin shower coming in and then a single pipe going out. This is more a layout you would see on a pressurized water line than uh, we would, especially in a domestic environment, have a much smaller pipe diameter. So this was just pushing the boundaries a little bit to see what happens and it looks like we managed to coat all these pipes pretty well. I loosened this up after the coating just so we could remove it to see how the coating looks. From this point onwards, we have literally a single skin of epoxy all the way through. The uh, material is super simplistic and straightforward, having three main pieces. You have your oxygen bottle, you've got your gas reel, your gas tube connecting to your point, whether it's a single water line or it's a single waistline up to 50 millimeters. You'll have your appropriate epoxy or preparation material that you'll introduce into the line, push it through and then push the liner through. I would like to just demonstrate how effectively the epoxy medium is introduced into the pipe. This is what the trap looks like 24 hours later. It is amazingly smooth. The coat goes all the way through. I disconnected this when the epoxy was still wet so I could demonstrate the smoothness of the coating and this is virtually one piece. If I had not removed this, we would have one sleeve from where we introduced the epoxy all the way through to the end of the line to where it hits the gully and we virtually have one new cured sleeve with no interruptions all the way through a day after the coating. Keeping in mind it has come from this fitting all the way through coating that piece and then coming back to coat this piece and back to coat that piece all separately just controlled by the valves. Let's get the drain camera in there. Look how smooth that is. No bumps. It doesn't really affect the flow. That is the join on the union where we have removed the union. That's why there is a grey piece over there. And there is our wire junction. Look how smooth that coating is on the join. And then to the T piece. Notice how the join is totally sealed. It's basically one piece, this whole join. And then in that groove on the branch, the epoxy pushes straight into all the little grooves. You know, if there is glue missing or no glue at all, this will continue as one part. This tubing was clamped in, so the epoxy has even filled up that gap between the pipe and the tubing all the way into this PVC pipe here. We're coming back towards the trap and there is the trap. And once again, we can see a little bit of PVC on the rim because we removed that trap beautifully smooth. literally gonna pop this is closed this is closed so we have got no no open gaps There's the water and everything's nice and tight okay and bar and we barely have any moisture anywhere on these joints let's turn it up 
a little bit. See how high we can go before it pops. Go up to two bar. Whoops. <laughs> two bar it is before it pulls out from the pigeon. This drone popped off at two bar. Look how the epoxy creeps up the side of the pipe. It's almost like a solder type seal. This rubber seal popped off just before cracked the epoxy, which is not bad as it was literally the only thing holding the pipe in place. So I'm impressed. I think that's a definite success.